there's multiple, there's more, but there's two key methods that I want you to, to understand and that I would do a test on for how you're going to purchase. And this first one is for um, perishable items. So basically, if you think of your you know lettuce, you're going to your uh, menu has Caesar salad, so you need more romaine lettuce. So you, as the person in charge, you're going to determine how much you have, how many heads of romaine you have. So you're going to actually go in the fridge and count. Every day as a chef, when I run a kitchen, every day I walk, the first thing I do with my morning coffee, I go through and I, I, I check everything. I know how much we have today for what we're, what we're going to be producing today. Then I figure out how much we need for the upcoming business today and tomorrow. I'm going to subtract those two and find out what, what, you know, what, where the gap is, what's missing, and I'm going to put the order in. That, that's pretty much what purchasing is, right? Pretty straightforward. So the periodic um, system is for a non-perishable item. So your dry goods, canned stuff, bags of flour, bags of rice, that kind of stuff. So it's periodic because you decide it's for a period. You may order once a week. It may be every second week. It may be once a month. If you're in a remote area, maybe you know the, the big truck comes once a month. If you're in a resort or something, it doesn't, it, there's, no, there's no delivery every day. If you're in the city, it could be twice a week. So there's no rule, but it's periodic. You, you have a decided that I order Monday and it comes on Thursday. I order every Monday for Thursday, or I order the first of every month and it's enough for the month. That's extreme. That would be in a, in a remote area where you don't have regular delivery. To order for a month is, is not the greatest thing to do. But if it's cans of tomatoes and bags of flour, why not order enough for a couple of weeks and then I don't have to have one truck coming instead of next week, the truck coming with a couple of cases of tomatoes, canned tomatoes that don't go bad. Why don't I just get six cases last week and I don't have to bother the truck again and I don't have to have somebody on staff, you know, receiving a couple of cans of tomatoes or cases of tomatoes. So again, every, every uh, location is different, but the periodic system, again, that name is that it's, it's for a period of time. So you say for this week, this is how much I need of, these are non-perishable. So canned tomatoes is probably the easiest example. You look at how much you have in the storeroom of canned tomatoes right now, and you add how much you're going to need to the next delivery. So how much, how many canned tomatoes do you, you normally use every day? So you add that to it, and that's how much you're going to order. So, for example, you have 14 cans. You need 14 cans. Say you use two a day. This is a week. Use two cans a day of canned tomatoes for whatever, pizza sauce. I don't know. Two cans every day. So um, you need um, 14 cans. You look on the shelf, we got nine. So 14 minus nine is five. And I know that uh, I want to have ten, uh, 10 cans left um, at the end of this uh, period of time so that I have enough to carry me over to the next delivery. So I want to make sure when my truck comes in, I've actually ordered an extra 10 so that I have enough so that it goes to the next period of time. Again, we're looking at a period of time, a week. So in this case, if I use two a day, I need to order 15 cans. So I need the I need the, the amount that I'm short, plus I need to also plan uh, how much I'm going to have left so I'm prepared for the next uh, before the next delivery. Perpetual is it's not the day of the week that drives when you order; it's how much is on the shelf that drives the order. So it's it's two different things. So this would be used normally for perishable stuff. I'm not going to order enough. I don't think you're going to order enough romaine lettuce for your Caesar salad for the whole month. That would probably be a dangerous thing to do. I would want, not want the salad next week. Um, the salad dressing, if you bought store-bought salad dressing, maybe you could order that for a week or two because it's you know sealed, it's good for a year, shelf life. Uh, maybe you'll do that. So it's the inventory, it's the amount of product you have that, that determines whether you order and how much you order. So in this case, you look at your, your shelf par stock. So again, we're thinking of romaine lettuce. You always want to have so much romaine lettuce on your shelf so that you know the next day you have enough to serve your customers. So at some point you have to put a trigger. When it gets to 12 heads of lettuce, that's we have to reorder, you know, in, in that range. So it'd be a reorder, your par stock, whatever your par stock is, your reorder point, and that's the difference. And then you add in how many, how many lettuce are we gonna use till the truck shows up? Let's just say our par stock is 20. We always keep 20. When it gets to 15, you're reordering. But the problem is the truck comes in two days. So if you, if you only order five and you use some more tomorrow and some more tomorrow while you're waiting for the truck to come in, you will never get back to the park stock because by the truck, time the truck comes, you might be out and you've only ordered five. Well, now how's that help you? Now, now you're stuck again. So with this method, you figure out what your par is, what your goal is. 
At, when it gets to 15 romaine lettuce, that's when you're going to make the phone call and reorder. But you're going to order five because you got to get back up to par. But the truck's coming in two days and you use five heads a day. So you're going to have to also order another 10. So in this case, you would be ordering 15. So this is the, the difference is the periodic is by the calendar. The perpetual is by your inventory and flow. So at first, it's a little complicated, but I would suggest you think about two items, like canned tomatoes and lettuce, and think about you know, how that would work in your operation. And the, this method with fresh produce, it will depend how much you need on, based on the demand that you're expecting over the next couple of days. If the, the, nor, the usage, so here, um, for this until the next delivery, you have a function for 100 people that are getting Caesar salad. Well, you have to include that. Now I need, I, I, I'm not going to use 10, I'm going to use 50 because I have a banquet. So again, you, you base your perpetual, you do it repeatedly two to three days because the produce and fish goes bad and you have to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. You do two, three times a week. Whereas the other periodic, you might do it once a week because it's canned dry goods and it can sit around.